Oh, there we go, that's a fish. Hey, welcome back guys to another awesome episode. So today I have a special guest guys. I have Gatewood Brown. What's going on guys? Gatewood Brown is actually a up and coming YouTuber. I'm going to leave his link in the description below. Check it out. He has some really, really good editing editing skills. Um, he's not a primary angler YouTuber, but he does a lot of kayaking like in uh, um, rivers, white water. It's, it's pretty adventurous, so I encourage you guys to check it out. But today, we got the Old Town Autopilot 120. He has brought out the Old Town 10 Angler. You know, honestly, I've never heard of this kayak till I watched his video. And the challenge today, guys, is he actually wanted to come out fish because he want, he's thinking about getting a sit-on-top fishing kayak. So we're going to see. We're going to see if my Autopilot 120 will be able to catch me fish or his sit-in Old Town 10 Angler will be able to catch him fish. So, yeah, I mean, obviously you already kind of know the, what the answer is. But a lot of you guys, especially if you're new to kayak fishing, a lot of you guys have asked me, what kind of kayak should I buy? Should I spend the money on a more expensive one if you want to get into angling, on, especially on a kayak? Or uh, do you just buy a cheaper kayak and then upgrade in the future if you determine if you like the sport or not? Hopefully this video will kind of answer those questions that a lot of you guys have asked me in the past. But without further ado, let's get our kayak launch, see if we catch some fish today. Yeah, start off with that gulp. I think the gulp would uh, be your best bet. Okay. I think we know who's winning this challenge. <laughs> you probably would be, man. It's always the the uh, it's beginners the lucky. lucky. Yeah, exactly. It's like Vegas. Yeah, I'll take it. So you're supposed to eat these. Yeah, go for Put it. The tell me what. There. Tell me what it tastes like. It's not protein, man. It's rubber. If I was a redfish or a trout, <laughs> I'd eat it. There you go, man. That's the mentality you need. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, but next time you could have probably went a little bit deeper and okay. come out so it's, it's more straight. But if you, if you take it out, the gulp is so soft, they'll mess up. So just, just leave it as is until you lose it. Okay, it should cool. be fine, yeah. Ah. A lot of you guys have asked me, is it bad to drag your kayak into the water like you just saw me just do? Eh, not really. I mean, my kayak, it's a tool, right? You use it to catch fish, it's gonna get beat up. Especially when you fish oyster beds and shallow marshes. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. You good, Gatewood? Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait, good right now or good at fishing? Uh, those are two different questions. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we are at a local marsh here. Something that's very easy right off the launch because my buddy Gatewood has a sit-in paddle conventional kayak. He's like right there, only 15 yards ahead of me. And he's already getting bombarded by the boat waves that are coming by. So, um, note to you guys or beginners out there that want to purchase a kayak. Um, just be aware if you do purchase a lower end kayak like the one he's using, you know, a big box Walmart Academy type kayak, um, you know, the quality is not going to be high and stability is not going to be as good as something like the Old Town Autopilot. But if, it, if that's all you can afford, then that's all you can afford, right? That's what you should get. Whatever gets you out in the water, that's, that's my point of view and I'm getting stuck here in the shallow. And, well, he's not. See, that's another good point to mention is... What? It's shallow? It's shallow, yeah. It's 1.3 feet here. He's he's paddling along like nothing happened. And my motor just got um, hung up in some moisture there. And he's actually pretty quick on that thing because he's been using that for years. So I am at, let's see, 5 speed setting. I'm going 2.1 miles per hour. And he's just paddling along. But <laughs> the secret is, is how long can he last? We're gonna put some miles on today for sure. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just first fishing the shoreline right here. I've actually never had any luck fishing, but you know, you never know what can be cruising by. I'm at I'm sitting at two feet, you're probably sitting at five feet. And that's a good drop-off area to target. Uh, 
species. Oh, there we go. You see that blow up? I just got blown up by a trout right there. <laughs> I missed him. I missed him. <laughs> if I catch them, I'll give it to you. That's if I catch some knock on wood, I probably just jinx myself. All right, gentlemen, we are here at our first point that we want to kind of tackle because Gatewood is on is on a sit on sit in kayak, so he doesn't have a rudder, he doesn't have an anchor system, so we're just going to kind of target areas that with a lot of moving water, turns, apexes, stuff like that. Um, areas with a lot of bait. Right now, I do see some bait. I already got blown up twice on my top water. To me, it's probably small little dink trout but it'll be cool to catch one anyways. The point of all of this is to show you guys that Gatewood, uh, a newbie in um, a fishing, kayak fishing especially, he's not a newbie in kayaking, he's, he's, a, he's a legit kayaker that you know does rapids and rivers and stuff like that, really good kayaker in itself. He's able to bring out his kayak and try to catch fish. So whatever can get you out in the water. That looks, that's, oh, that might be a red bro. Hold on, man. Hold on. I got a net. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Look at that, man. I'm all talking crap. I'm in a nice kayak. He's in the cheapo and he caught the first fish already. All right. Let's get to him. Nice, brother. Oh, uh, he might be right at keep. He's going to push it. I got a net here. Hit right. me, brother. Uh, he's, yeah. There you go. Sweet. Thank Take you. your time, yeah. There you go, buddy. All right. Good job. All right, let's put the top water up for a few minutes. Let's try something else. We have the hothead shrimp here. I think that'd be a good choice because of all the small bait that we see. I did, and it's supposed to be low tide coming. There we go. There's the fish coming up. Oh, is he on still? Yeah, he's on. It's a small guy. Small red. Catching dinkers, man. World class dinkers. That's a six inch red for you. Wow. <laughs> there we go, another dinker. Oh, that's a nice, that was a flounder. Oh, he got off. Well, okay, they're here. There we go, that's a fish. He's a smaller guy. Another croaker, man. That's all I'm catching. That's what I get for using gulp. Gulp and croakers. They're good eating though. All right, brother. Beautiful fish. Later. Another croaker. Oh, it's a redfish. It looks like a croaker, but this one was a redfish. Look at that, man. Nursery session, boys. Because I am the RX angler. Look at that. It's fun catching these little fish, though. Because if you add them all up together, they're like 30 inches. You got something? Marco? Oh, there we go. That's a fish. That's a puller. Yeah, he might be a redfish right there. Oh my gosh. This guy's a big one. Yeah, this guy is a puller. Oh my God. It's a big dude. It's a big dude. Yeah, double hookup, brother. He's pulling drag. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a big red. What'd you get? Oh my god. <laughs> that's a big red. You got red too? Beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's pulling hard. He's going to really put the Steez Air to the test. This ultralight micro fishing tackle with the suppressor ultralight old 18. Putting it to the test, man. I hope my line does not snap. Oh, it's a big red fish. Oh wow, he's a big one. <laughs> Woo! Oh wow. He's gonna be probably 23, 24 easy all day. All right, brother, come on in. You're you're done. You got defeated by the ultralight. <laughs> there we go. That's a fish right there, bro. Boom! Let's spotlight ourselves here so we can hold our position. My boy Marco right there. Marco. One of the uh, loyal patrons of the channel, good buddy of mine. Look at that Mondo right there. Woo wee, that's a Mondo. Come on, Gabe, what is yours? 25 and a quarter. 
All right. Oh my boy, Gatewood, right here. Here you go. Look at it's that. a gift to your fiance so you can cook for her. <laughs> Dude, that's sweet. How'd you catch it? So just work in the grass line right here, about three feet down, and he smoked it. I got lucky, man. It's just a lot of that has to do with luck, you know what I mean? You think uh, he's gonna fit in your cooler though? Barely. <laughs> all right, he's all yours, brother. you guys are asking me what am i catching all these fish on this is the little gulp fluke i mean i'm matching the hatch this is what we're seeing out here in abundance and that's what i caught all my fish on man on a um, tt uh, jig head all if you're interested in this these products it's linked in the description below um man i'm having a great day man i can't believe it the bite just turned on for me using the gulp just trying to match the hatch and it's working it is working We'll probably give this one to Gatewood too because he said he wants to eat flounder. He loves, or actually, I don't think he's ever eaten flounder before. That's a beauty right there. Look at that flounder, that's a beauty. Beautiful fish, nice thick fillets on him. Woo wee, let's see how big he is real fast. All right, 17 and a quarter. Look at that, nice flounder. And he's but, giving me the flounder. But after that, we'll, we'll, we'll start letting fish go. Yeah. Oh, well, if I don't lose them, they are alien, but they are good. <laughs> Very good. These, I recommend. I mean, the meat is so soft. Blackening might be a little bit tough, but right. I mean, there's so many ways to cook it. You can eat it raw if you want to, if you're bold enough. Okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Oh, you got him? Right yeah. Yeah, that's what that works. There we go. That's another fish. It's a smaller guy. He got some paw, oh, he let go. That was a good flounder. That was a good flounder, dude. I just lost him. Flounder is like window shoppers. <laughs> there we go. That's another fish. We gotta get him, hold him on. It's a small little red fish. Yeah, small little red. So this small gulp catches the big fish and it catches a small fish. Beautiful, dude. Thank you. Wow, that's a really pretty red. So much croaker, so much bait. It's like, oh, that's that's another croaker. Oh, it's a speck. Nice, I got myself a slam. <laughs> nice speckled trout. All right, buddy. Here's your six inch speck, bro. <laughs> there we go, that's a fish. You got a little bit of pull on him. It's probably a baby red. You got a little bit of pull on him. Oh, dude, don't go under the kayak. There you go. Oh, he might be a slot. He might be. Might not be, dude. He's going to be pushing it. On the hothead. Hothead, hothead. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes. Got you in. Nice fish. Now, nah, he's not going to be a slot. But still... Beautiful fish nonetheless. Let's spot lock ourselves here. On the hothead. So, it's working. So it might be that time of day where they're just, you know, finally gonna wake up from their slumber. <laughs> this is the uh, new penny color. He's probably good, 18 and a half, maybe close to 19 inches. Thank you, my man. Is that a redfish? Yeah, look at that red right there. Oh wow, I spooked him. Um, is that him? Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> that was a big red, but I don't think, yeah, was this the same red? No way, is it? Yeah, it's the same red, I got him. Saw him on the shoreline there, that's crazy. He's not a big dude, but just sight casting him and was able to get him. <laughs> that's awesome. Come on, buddy. I'll let you go, I promise. He's a decent size, he's gonna be pushing it. Probably 18, 19 inches. Oh, he might he might be sliding. Nah, I don't know. We'll see. At 19 inches, yeah, barely. 19 inches. He's not gonna be slot, but almost. But just the fact that I sight casted him, that was cool. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> All right, my man, give me my lure back and we'll let you go. Oh, 
easy does it oh there he goes that was not graceful but booyah man having a great day so far one keeper red one keeper flounder handful of uh, specks and reds and I don't know croakers I mean there's so much fish out here using a small bait fish caught one on a hot head but they want the bait fish because that's what we're seeing there's so much bait fish out here so we'll see if we can catch another red and see what happens all right Gaywood I know you're tired you ready buddy all right here we go <laughs> I'm gonna take you back to the ramp <laughs> all right guys I'm hitching a ride RX angler comes through in the clutch again he's giving me his fish and he's giving me a ride back <laughs> I might be converted to the power kayak deal. There you this go. Sweet. I mean, we're covering some ground. So how was the day? How was the fishing? Uh, you know, honestly, it was a little bit slow for me. Uh, but, I mean, it's always a blast to come out and enjoy Mother Nature, man. Seriously, the, the marsh is a beautiful place. Yep. Uh, even though, you know, the water is not, you know, green, blue like Florida. But still, this is our home Texas waters. I absolutely love the state of Texas. Yeah and all everything especially the bay system the salt water system inshore you know texas in my opinion is the greatest state in the nation <laughs> with the best fishing in right. my opinion so it's the greatest nation in the states i mean what <laughs> what, what? <laughs> yeah, all right ladies and gentlemen back home from the fishing trip what a great day to be on the water but uh home because i got a special delivery got a new care package from japan let me show you what's inside this bad boy today Man, I love getting these packages in the mail, getting an email, my email ringing, dinging, it's like Christmas in July. <laughs> Let's see exactly what we got here today. As you guys know that Digitaka and RX Angler are closely working together and um, they are supporting the channel as well as me supporting them. So as you can guess, this is from Japan, from Digitaka. So let's see what they sent the channel today. All right, we got a lot of Japanese styrofoam here, made in Japan, JDM market. Never seen in the U.S. before. All right. That's the main prize right here. And as usual, we got the nice old Digitaka marketing pamphlet, I guess it is. Uh, pretty cool if you read it. It's like a little cartoon. Um, yeah, with Japan and May, if you're into that stuff. All right, here we go. The main entree, folks. Oh my God, what the heck is this? What? Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, Shimano Stella C2000 SHG. Woo wee. All right, before we open the main package, let's just see exactly what else they sent to us. All right, this is cool. This is Sunline braided line, which I'm assuming is going to pair up with the Stella right here. This is a 1.0 diameter, 180 meters, 7.7 .7 kilograms. So this is rated a little bit above 15 pounds. Uh, power rated from Japan braided line. Really nice. Looks like it's for, let's see, what is this? Saltimate PE braided egging line. So this is a you know braid line for saltwater use made by sunline it's a japanese company if you're interested i'll leave a link in the description below for this line right here i'm going to pair this up with this reel right here but before like i said we get into the meat and potatoes let's see what else they sent us okay some new lures from magbite oh wow dude check out these small little jig heads my god what is this 1.3 grams that's crazy Let's see, Aji Killer, Jig Head, <laughs> Swim Dart, crazy man, crazy. Well, I mean, Digitaka knows that I love using the micro lures, the BFS stuff, so they're sending me stuff to show you guys what's available in Japan. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else here. Oh my God, 0 0.8 grams. That's insane. That is super, super lightweight. Looks like you can catch a little sunfish with this type of jigs. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be able to catch the redfish. I, you know what? I know it's not going to catch a redfish. Perhaps maybe, no, not even flounder, but speckled trout probably, the smaller one. Yeah, no problem. Here's a 1.5 jig head, a little bit bigger. So let me put these in orders here. 0 0.8 grams, 1.3 gram, 
and 1.5 grams strong wire standard wire number 14 wire I guess so I'd be using more of the 1.5 gram if I am going to try it well you know what I am going to try this see if I can hook into a big fish flounder I think this will be appropriate for flounder and trout redfish I don't know well we'll see if we can we're able to bring in a, a, a big redfish with this jig head right here that's saying a lot this is this is all made in Japan stuff pretty cool if you're interested in the mag bite I'll leave a link in the description below also so check it out all right we got some mag bite what are these soft plastics too cool booty shake <laughs> man Japanese in their flamboyant language booty shake <laughs> man these are so freaking small my god 1.4 inch I don't know if you guys can see that but that's that right there is a size of the soft plastic that's insane this is two inch okay so these would be paired with this obviously that's that's crazy man that oh my god well we're gonna try to catch fish on it on the Texas coast see if we can 1.4 inch this is the two inch so this is a little bit bigger this is called vacuum ring that's crazy man these Japanese people they know how to make some stuff look at that made in Japan crazy crazy what is this right here? This is the booty shake. Okay, so these are the bigger ones. Three inch. So let me put these in order. Let's see. Three inch. We got the two inch. And then we have the 1.4 inch. Check out these BFS small little soft baits that Digitaka sells on their website. Once again, if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. But yeah, the 1.4 inch, two inch, 2.5 inch and three inch. Most likely I'll have more confidence in the 2.5 inch as well as the three inch. You know what, two inch might work also. I don't know, 1.4, this is going for the really, really small fish. <laughs> this, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try my best to catch fish on these, no doubt. That's, that's cool, that's pretty cool. And then we have the vacuum ring, which I just showed you, two inch. So I guess the movement on this is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool. I think this is what they call Aji fishing. If I'm not correct, I have to look this up, honestly. I, I'm not too familiar, but Aji, I believe, is a type of jigging, perhaps? Maybe with soft plastics? I'm not sure. But these all work together, and these are all from Magbite, all made in Japan. Thank you, Digitaka. I really appreciate that. Now, for the main, main entree, the hamburger. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes here, folks. This, these, this is the Shimano Stella... C2000 SHG. Now you're probably asking yourself, well Nick, you can buy the Stella here in the US. Yeah, you're absolutely correct, you can't. But, but you can't buy this specific model. Reason why is because in the US they don't offer the C2000 SHG. They offer the 1000 and I believe it jumps up to, to the 2500 model. But this is right between the 1000 and the 2500 model. So this is a really great size for the micro lures I like to throw on the coast. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside. Right away I noticed the boxing and the, I mean this is high class. The Stella, if you didn't know, is Shimano's highest end spinning reel that they offer. Um, I mean it's their top of line with every single technology that Shimano offers in all their, all their reels. Oh wow, holy smoke, look at this. It comes in a nice neoprene pa uh, pouch I mean I'm not surprised I expected to for high end oh my god that is oh wow that is so nice look at that made in Japan god that is beautiful that's like a work of art right here folks holy smoke okay let's here's the arm let's put the arm on Oh my gosh, that's so smooth. I've never owned a Stella in my whole life. And I want to thank Digitaka for sending me a Stella product to try and use on a channel. I am really looking forward to it. Honestly guys, this is the size of a 1000 series reel. The only difference between this and a 1000, it's going to hold more line. So it's more appropriate for the redfish found and trout on our coast. As I stated earlier, I'm going to pair it up with the Sunline braid, the 1.0 diameter, the 7.7 kilogram, which is a hair bit above 15 pound uh, rated. So this is going to go on this. And I'm going to put this on the ultralight suppressor rod. God, that's so smooth. 
really looking forward to use this reel on the coast off the kayak. This would be a good weight fishing reel too. Hoo wee! I tell you what guys, I'm not really big into bait casting, but when it comes to a Stella or the Daiwa Exist or higher models, I am definitely going to use. Man, the grips are, God, the grips feel so different than all my other bait casting Shimano reels. It's, it's hard to explain. It's texture is so much more tactile. Huh. Very nice. If you're really wanting to fish the type of tackle that I like to use, I get all my reels and Japanese stuff from digitaka.com. So check them out. It's linked in the description below. That's the only place I entrust to order all my JDM Japanese stuff straight from Japan. No tax, free shipping. And shipping is like maybe four business days, up to a week sometimes, depending on how busy they are. But they get it to you really fast and get the things that I use exactly on the channel. If you're interested in a reel like this, I'll leave a link below. And plus, on top of that, it's an expensive reel. I know, I know I'm gonna hear a lot of you guys say this is way out my price range, but MSRP, yeah, you're never gonna pay MSRP on digitaka.com. They sell it at a way discounted price. And um, yeah, like I said, this is the only place I buy my JDM stuff, the Japanese market stuff, and stuff that I can't get here in the US, like this right here, this Stella C2000. I cannot buy this in the US. It's not offered in the US, only in Japan. Hence, that's why they sent it to my channel to use exclusively on RX Linger. So I wanna thank digitaka.com. Thank you guys so much for entrusting me and hopefully, hopefully, we can get more people on this trend of BFS and Japanese tackle and gear because it's so much fun to catch big fish with them. But yeah, that's going to be it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing as well as the fishing. Uh, leave a comment, hit that like button. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in more JDM reels or are you interested? Well, let's, just let me know what you think in the comments below. I read every single comment and I feel like you guys don't comment enough. But yeah, thank you so much guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.